Hello. Um, I'm com coming to you from this countryside setting from um, on Snakes Pass. Look at the trees. Okay, come back to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, this video is going to be like a three week compilation because I made a quick update video the other day in which I covered that I've been kind of maintaining for a couple of weeks. I had a new tattoo which I had wrapped for almost a week so I couldn't sweat under the wrapping. Um, so I've been kind of in a maintenance-ish sort of phase for a week and a half-ish. And then the rest of it, I've just been getting my cardio quite regularly, still doing my training. Um, but there was a couple of weekends there as well where I was drinking, my training, my strength took a bit of a hit. So um, I'm just going to throw a lot of footage together that I got over the past three weeks in this vlog. And then I'm going to do a weigh-in tomorrow um, where I'll just compare my weight at the beginning of that three-week period and at the end of the three week period it's not ideal i would have preferred to do a weekly one but i'm super busy with work at the moment as well so i thought if i just throw um my three weeks worth of footage in which we had the beach from the east it was super snowy we went out in the snow um i got a really good training session with a friend of mine joe greenley in and i will link to his channel in the description he very kindly linked to mine in his video of the same session um, and we, what else did we do? I think we did something else. But So we've been busy for the past three weeks and it's all going to be in this. So thanks for watching and I will see you for the weigh in tomorrow. going pretty well. Uh, we're snowed in today, we're in the northwest of the UK so we got hit pretty hard with the snow as you can see. So we decided to do a little bit of exploring while we got some time around the house and it turns out that if you just walk around the back of our house this is our back garden and we've never actually been up here before and it's literally like two minutes walk from our house so that's pretty awesome. Maybe I'll do some more shooting out here in summer. Um, so week six so far is going pretty good. Um, my training is on point. The only thing that I'm behind with so far this week is my cardio. I've no, now only got two cardio sessions each week. Um, last week and every week before that, it was three sessions of hit cardio a week. Now it's two sessions, two longer sessions of hit cardio each week. So that's the only thing that's changed. Um, my increase in carbohydrates is still the same. I'm still at 200 grams a day. Uh, my macros I've been hitting every day so far. I've got my refeed day tomorrow. We've got a family event, um, which is an engagement party for our cousin of mine. Um, so I'm just going to use that as my refeed day. I'm going to cut back on carbs through the day um, and make sure I get one of my cardio sessions in tomorrow as well. Um, and that way I'll, it'll give me a bit, of a, a bit of freedom in the evening. I'll obviously try and keep my fats quite low, um, but I'll, I'll be going for things like sandwiches and try and steer clear of anything that's too fatty, like pies and that sort of stuff. Or maybe just one. Um, yeah, but apart from that, I'll check in Sunday for my last weigh-in of week six. And until then, just enjoy some winter scenes. Something dwells in there. There's a proper little fucking dog out. Weird. Hello again. Um, I also wanted to mention that if you don't already follow me on Instagram and you're interested in learning more about how I fit in my calories and macros through the day, things like what sort of snacks do I eat um, to keep myself full through the day, how do I keep myself satisfied, that sort of stuff, um, then I'm currently posting what I'm eating every day on Instagram per meal and I'm also posting the calorie and macronutrient breakdown for each um, meal and each snack. Um, so yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, you can follow me at DTB Lifts. Um, 
Yeah, and that's it. Hello. Um, I was going from work. Week seven. I'm a little bit behind on my videos as usual. So I'm like two videos behind, but I spent a lot of time on the week five video. Like trying to be clever with the editing. Um, and I kind of used all my free time for making videos up on that one. So I've got bits of footage from last week that I'm editing together a week late and I'm only just starting to film footage for this week. But overall training and diet's going well. I'll just go back from work now. I'm gonna be training with Joe Greenley, who's got a, his own YouTube channel. It's really good. I will put a, I'm dropping here on top of the floor. I'll put a link to his thing here. I don't know how to do that yet. You point at something and then a thing comes up. I don't, I'll figure it out. Over there, or there. Oh there. Um, so I'm training with Joe tonight. We're gonna to help each other out um, filming each other's full workout. So this video, I should have a full upper body B workout for you, which should be higher. I should have checked this before, but it's, it should be a higher volume upper body session that finishes with some triceps. But as I've mentioned previously, a lower body session finishes with a bicep workout. So in an upper body session, it's just worth noting that I don't do biceps and triceps. I do triceps on an upper body, and then I do biceps on a lower body session. So I'm just getting some quick pre-workout food in. Halo top for the win. I've got about a third left, so I'm eating that. And also, muscle food, margarita pizza. This is pretty good. It's, I think it's just under 20 grams of fat. So obviously these are ideal on a day where you've got quite a lot of fat left in your macros. Um, 44 grams of carbs, 25.7, call it 26 grams of protein. So, pretty good. They only take 15 minutes in the oven. So, because I don't have much time, I'm eating Joe at 7. But it takes like half an hour to get there, so I'm just throwing this food down. Also, more good news. Look what's back in stock at Tesco. Nutri First bars. I've mentioned these before, but if you didn't see my other video, these are the best protein bars I've ever had, and also one of the cheapest. Carb killer bars are like £2.50, upwards of £2.50 if you buy them in like a gym vending machine or something. These you can buy from Tesco, they're £1.50 each. Sometimes they have special offers on as well, so you can get like four for the price of three or something like that. So if you buy in bulk, obviously you can save money. Uh, macros on these, 277 calories, 9.9 .9 grams of fat, uh, 25.7 grams of carbs and 21.1 grams of protein so macro balance wise there are better protein bars out there but if you're willing to just save up a little bit of fat and a little bit of carbs and get a nicer protein bar down this just tastes like a lion bar it just tastes like you're eating a regular chocolate bar it hasn't got that weird overly chewy stodgy aspect to it that a lot of protein bars have you know where it's like you just have to chew and chew this just tastes like a chocolate bar and it's got 20 grams of protein in it so ideal um and for me eating things that i enjoy every day just makes the cut and the diet more sustainable over the long term i'm always going on about sustainability and that sort of stuff so by eating things like you know lower calorie ice creams protein bars, margarita pizzas, the macros are generally you know, more well balanced than a regular chocolate bar or a regular margarita pizza and lower in sugar and that sort of thing and lower in fat. But at the same time, I don't feel like I'm missing out. Like I'm literally just about to eat pizza. I'm, I'm, I'm having pizza and ice cream for my tea, for my evening meal, whatever you, call, whatever you would call it, dinner. Um, so I just think it's a good point to make that I eat pizza and ice cream sometimes for tea and I feel fine, I don't feel like I'm missing out. Um, and not should you. I'll see you at the gym.
Sunday check-in. Um, got some nice scenery for the Sunday check-in this week. Um, I've already explained that this is going to be a comparison against my weight three weeks ago because obviously I've not been making the weekly vlogs um, and I've been in kind of a period where uh, one week I had my tattoo, my new tattoo wrapped so I couldn't work out or sweat for a week. Do you want to see my new tattoo? Uh, pretty cool, cool guy with tattoos alert over here. Um, so yeah, there was a period there where I couldn't really train. Also, the other two weeks in this three week period, I was kind of fucking it up at weekend. I was managed to making, I was manage, managing to make some progress through the week. And then by the time weekend was coming around, one weekend I had family around, we got a Domino's, I was drinking beer, bloating myself out. I was eating chocolates and stuff like that. Just sat playing the PlayStation. Not ideal, but comparing my attitude when this has happened to how it would have been you know, over previous years where I've been trying to lose weight. As soon as something like this comes up where, you know, I've had a tattoo wrapped, I'm not able to work out, my routine has gone out the window um, with training, then my diet would fall apart as well. As soon as one thing goes wrong, the rest would fall apart with me. Um, and this time that's not been the case. I have, like, you know, I, I have had beers at weekend, I have had pizza, I would be in a better position today if I hadn't have done that over the pre previous three weeks. But I feel that I am um, growing in terms of um, my attitude towards food, my ability to um, maintain a healthy kind of mindset and say, you know, well, I can, I, I did have a pizza and I did have a beer, but that doesn't mean that it's off, like I fucked it. I might as well give in. I just got back on it the next day and I'm looking forward to that long-term, the, the, the achievements over long-term consistency. So that said, um, my weight three weeks ago, on Monday three weeks ago was 74.2. My weight this morning was 73.3. .3. So I've still lost a kilo over the past three weeks. Again, I could have done better. I'm sure there's people out there that's perfect and super disciplined and good for you. But for me, I'm growing, I'm learning, um, and hopefully maybe there's someone out, out there that has that same problem where, you know, maybe you get an injury or you're ill and then you just think, oh, you know what, fuck it, what's the point? And you just jack it all in. So what I wanted to say is, if for whatever your reason you can't train, don't let that affect your diet. You know, you can still eat your calories. You can still go out and walk, get a few walks in every week, unless you've, I don't know, broken your ankle, in which case don't walk on it. Sorry that you've done that and be more careful, you stupid person. I'm only really joking, please get well. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say. I've fucked it up, but at the same time, I managed to maintain and still lose a bit of weight. Um, so, and also I think I've got some changes to my macros coming up. Tom mentioned in a couple of weeks, my carbs might be going up to like 300, maybe 350 a day. So I might be going into kind of a maintenance phase now. I'm not as lean as I would have liked to, but I'm really gonna rinse every bit of fat loss that I can out of these next few weeks. Cause if I am going into a maintenance phase, then I want to get the most out of these next two weeks that I've got left until he puts my carbs up, unless he changes the plan, in which case they won't be going up, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching this mega week. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a mishmash over the past three weeks. There's Beast from the East is included in this video. That's all fucking long ago. This footage was, that footage was filmed. But um, thanks for sticking with me. I will see you for weekly vlogs going forward. Maybe. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.